we wait. That's what Advent is about. We wait for the story to begin, for the star to rise in the night sky, for the faint sound of angels singing to grow louder, for a child to be born. We wait to dress our children in wings and halos, in shepherds' clothes or the finery of kings, to put on nativity plays and exchange gifts in honour of the gift of life. We wait to celebrate the birth that changed everything. And as we do, we remember all that came before it, including the prophecies, the poetry and the voices calling in the wilderness, hungry for change, then as now. We may recognise that hunger in ourselves. We may see parallels between that time and ours, between the world as it was then and the world as it is now, between what people are going through and what Mary and Joseph went through. The excitement of something new happening, for example, the anticipation of a new arrival, and then the sudden terror in the middle of the night, the running from the soldiers that are coming, the flight towards safety, hopefully. The pain of having to leave home, often in a hurry. Countless men and women and children are experiencing that in these days of war, famine and natural disaster, caught up in forces beyond their control, driven out of their place of safety, made to move on against their will. 